Hi, this is Steve. Welcome back to Scale Model Kit Review. In this video, I'll be building Eagle Moss's Ghostbusters Ecto-1. I am on issue 6, stage 17. Let's get started. Welcome back. Let's look at the parts and the instructions for stage 17. So for stage 17 we finally assemble another wheel and tire. So I will look at the instructions here. Very similar to what we've done already. And for stage 17 we simply have three steps. We do uh, install the wheel and tire onto the, the knuckle itself. So we're actually going to install that on the front end. Install the wheel and tire parts and pieces and we're actually going to install a brake fluid hose too. So let me get the parts and I'll be right back. Here's the parts for stage 17 and pretty heavy the wheel and tire itself along with the brake lines. So I'll pull these parts out we'll get a closer look. Here's a close-up of the parts. We received the two halves of the wheel. They're both metal, very detailed. The valve stem is already pre-installed so pay attention to that. We received the hubcap plastic chrome and the hubcap cap itself CM screws, LM screws and the tire. You can see it has a very nice tread pattern to it there and very nice graphics Firestone Deluxe Champion tire 8 by 20 by 15 made in the USA and like I said our brake hoses. I'll be right back. Step 1 we fit the, the wheel to the tire so I'll bring the tire out here first, and I'm going to put the large one-piece solid wheel on first, flip it over, and we'll do our best here to line it up to where our screws go into the next wheel. That looks good there. That looks really good. As a matter of fact, we use LM screws. one. These are CM screws. I, I stand corrected. CM screws. They're a little bit shorter than the LMs that we got with this issue. Okay. I didn't lubricate the holes, but they're going in okay with that. And I'm just going to tighten them down. They're all started. Takes a little bit of force to get all these in and started. Perfect. Okay. Then we can fit our cap over the top. Make sure we line it up with the valve stem so we don't break the valve stem off. And now they will actually want us to go ahead and mount this to the front, to the chassis on the right hand side. Okay, so we already have the other side installed. We're going to install it on this other side. I'm going to go ahead and lubricate the axle. Now we use the LM screws, actually one screw, not screws. Get it ready. Slide this down over the axle, just like such. And we'll put our LM screw in and tighten it down. There we go. Perfect. And they tell us to put our cap on. I'm going to put it on, but not very tight. Perfect. 
Next we run our brake lines. Okay, with our brake lines, we received a long brake line, and that's going to run to the right drum, all the way over to our proportioning valve on the left side here. And then our shorter one is going to be on the left side from our brake drum down to the proportioning valve. Okay. Our brake drum has a nipple on it that our hose will go on to, so I'll just put that on there. And that runs to my proportioning valve. Right here on the outside of it. There we go. And then the longer hose, I'm going to go ahead and run it to the proportioning valve first. And that goes right there, facing inward, right up against it. This runs over the top of the bell housing of the transmission, all the way to our drum on the other side. And there we go, all mounted up. Brake line there, and brake line there. And that concludes stage 17, where we assembled the wheel and tire, we mounted it to the axle, and then we installed our brake lines on the back of the engine. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe, hit the bell for all notifications. Head over to Eagle Moss today and subscribe to this. It's a fantastic build. I highly recommend it. So with that, happy modeling everybody and take care.